Hello and welcome back to the channel where the coffee van is. I'm Alan. I'm Ali. And if this is the first time you're visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. It does help us out and encourage us to uh, do, do more videos. <laughs> right, uh, it's been a while since we've done caravan catch up, hasn't it? Yes, definitely. Uh, because we've been away and lots of things happening. Yes, we've been on our little jobs and going off grid, this and that, and finding out what it's like. I enjoyed it. Um, and of course now we've got to the end of term as far as work's concerned. Summer's now here. Yippee! Students have gone home till October and we can uh, have a bit of, I, I won't say a relax over summer because it's not going to be a relax no. over summer. Uh, but but it's a bit of a different time in our in our annual uh, calendar. So d we just wanted to really catch up on what it's been like. It's a year since we bought Baby Bailey. Not quite a year. Yeah, it is a year. Is it's it? the eleventh of July. We picked her up on the seventeenth. Oh, right. So it's, it's a year since Baby Bailey went. <laughs> <laughs> but we we watched a caravan channel. And we still watch the Caravan Channel for the love of caravans, IAT Ian and uh, Claire. Yeah. Uh, and they did a series about caravanning on a budget. And was it possible to caravan on a budget? And the short answer is... Yes. Kind of. Yes. Kind of. Caravanning's a lifestyle, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it has become for us. It's become a lifestyle. So... Uh, when we when we bought Baby Bailey, we had to then go buy all the all the stuff, and we'd watched uh, Karina and Jules's video and about all the accessories and everything you need. But really, it's like setting a second home up, really, because it is. It's your second home. Yeah, yeah, and it's become a a life an expensive lifestyle yes, yes. I, d I don't think a month has gone by without we've bought something so we bought but we're trying to get a, everything we want this year so next year we're not forking out it'll just be paying for our holidays next year we we know it cost us a bit with us getting like off grid getting the solar panels but we hope that's going to pay for itself in the end when we go off grid, which we plan to do. And we've done other stuff as well. I, I guess you look for luxuries. So, you know, you you buy bedding just for the caravan because the colours are different for the house. And your nice forks, plates, spoons, everything else is Thoughts. different to what you have in the house. Uh, Micro towels. Uh, yeah, and, and we've just kind of because we're into youtube as people who watch youtube as well as people who sit and do videos on youtube we we've sat and watched so many different channels and got so many ideas and thought that that be nice in our caravan yeah and you you buy it and then you see something else and think that'll be nice, nice in our caravan, caravan. uh and, you know and to give you an idea when we started off we we first thought, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to sites, and we're only going to sites where we've got hook up. So we did. We didn't want a gas barbecue. We went out and bought a tapenyaki, and the tapenyaki's kind of been. Has it been? I don't know if you said demoted or promoted, because it's now in the kitchen, and we <laughs> use it on a. We use it pretty much on a daily basis for cooking sausages and eggs and bacon and and and. Being promoted and to that was not the caravan. <laughs> so, so we've got to get. So we've now got to get another tapenyaki for the caravan, uh, and th and then we thought, well, we're going to go off grid, so we can't cook with stuff that's 240 volt electric. So we're gonna to have to cook with the caravan, either the cooker in the caravan, which is perfectly perfectly good and has, has done some, yeah. some nice meals for us, hasn't it? Uh, so we went out and we bought a Kadak. And- It's brilliant, that's all I can say. <laughs> well, it's brilliant from your point of view, because you just say, is, it, is dinner ready yet, Alan? <laughs> you know, you, have, you, have you actually used the cooker in here yet? Yes, we have, twice. No, have you? Not of not of we of you, <laughs> no. So so we've, on the I'm the washer up there. On the twelfth of August, we'll we'll have had this caravan, uh, 
we're not. <laughs> yeah, we've, we'll have had this caravan six months, and Al has yet to use the cooker. Now, that doesn't mean the cooker's not been used because it's been used on every trip. All we're saying is Al has never used the cooker. But I'm the washer up, eh? Yeah, that's true. That's true. We've maybe reverse rolls a touch there. And it's the same with the Kadak. Al has never used the Kadak or the Tapinyaki. You don't, to be honest, you don't cook, do you? No. No, right. Can cook, but won't <laughs> cook. Don't need to cook. Have a cook. Why have a dog and bark yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, it's become it's become a lifestyle of buying things and and getting things that are just right for us. And with the stuff that we had in the Bailey, when the Bailey went, uh, the wood was a different colour in here, and the carpets were a different colour, and curtains were a different, different colour. So we so, had to buy it all new. So we started all over again, didn't yeah. we? And it was kind of that uh, constant. The only thing, well, we kept the awning. Yes. You know, it, it was on the we had it up on the Bailey once, yeah. so in 12 days, we got, we've got the four, back of beyond 14 nights at the back of beyond. It'll be our longest and biggest holiday, won't it? Yes, down at uh, first time on down, fully serviced, yeah. And of course, that was an expense because we went out and bought all the kit for fully serviced, yeah. Uh, but we're we're going away for twelve nights, so that's a, that for us is a is quite a long holiday, isn't it? Because we yes. normally we've normally done four or five, maybe yeah. maybe up to seven. Up to now, we've not done a really long holiday, and we've not done anything that that sort of distance from home. You know, we're expecting it to take us six or seven hours for us to get from home down there. Yeah, uh, and the same coming back. So it's a it's a big a holiday. Long trek. It's a long trek, but we're really looking forward to that one. Uh, but getting back to the lifestyle, you kind of you kind of slowly buy into it, the extra roll, the the full size, you know, the waste master instead of a, you know, like a water container. All the kit you buy inside your caravan, but you build it up slowly over time, and I suppose at some stage we are going to have to sit down and say, how much has this thing actually cost us? <laughs> because. Uh, <laughs> If you add if you add in the price of the caravan, we were adding everything up. Then we lost the repeat. Well, <laughs> yeah, d d we we set a budget when we got the Bailey of all the accessories that was the gas bottle and the pigtail and the wastebuster <coughs> and everything you needed to get going, and said right the accessories we need to get going and go and have a week in a caravan was about a thousand pound. And that included everything, included tow mirrors for the car, uh, d the locks for the wheels, hitch locks, every absolutely everything. And that £1,000 disappeared. Yeah. How long ago? That's true. Definitely a long, long time ago, wasn't it? So, d really, with this this video is to say, look, d you, you kind of get dragged into this this lifestyle, don't you? you? I think it's a bit of a... A Marmite thing talking to us. I was talking to a friend this morning, and there, but he bought a caravan uh, not too long ago. Uh, it sat on the drive for a while, he put it in storage for a while, it come back to the drive, and he sold it, and it's gone, and he's never had a weekend away in it. Uh, and it's he's been, you know, for, for us, it's like, well, wow, when can we go next <laughs> weekend? <laughs> when we <we're> off, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're thinking about every available opportunity of getting away and. And having some time in the middle of nowhere, aren't That's we? why we try it off grid. So, you know, it's, it may be that caravanning's a bit of a marmite thing. Tenting certainly is, isn't it? You either love it or you hate it. It's not something that grows um, on you. I'm sorry, I wouldn't go back to tenting. No, did that. I prefer that, caravan life. Um, so, uh, so f from a lifestyle point of view, you, d you kind of buy into it. And once you've bought into it, it very slowly starts adding up and adding up and adding up. And then you start to think, what does all this lot weigh? Because of course that, that's all down. It's all payload, isn't it? It's all sat either in a cupboard or under a bench or under a bed. That's why I'm getting my revival towers. <laughs> and it's, uh, and as uh, it has been said on YouTube before, it then extends out of the caravan into the spare room. You know, you'd, we we have an awning which has sat in the spare room since we last used it last September. 
which is going to come back into the caravan for this trip, but of course the canopy is then going to go back into the spare room, isn't it? And the solar canopies in and the spare and the room. And the solar panels in the... going on this trip. Yeah, you, you know, so you've, you've kind of got different things yeah, that you need. Yeah, I've got a spare room. It's a camping room. <laughs> <laughs> it was an office at one time. Yeah, it's a camping it, room but you, but you have stuff that you use on one trip that you won't use on another trip. We don't take the coffee maker. Uh, we take the French press when we're going off-grid, but we're going to take the coffee maker when we're going all looked up fully serviced so so the stuff that's that's kind of suitable for one but not suitable for another and you, and you buy all this gear and and it's surprising how much you're because caught you, where you're going to stop it because you buy it in bits so like when we got when we got the bailey we got a 10 meter uh hookup cable and the first thing everybody said to her was 10 year 10 meters not going to be a lot going to be long enough so we went and bought a 25 meter hook up cable and all the time we had the Bailey, we never used it. No. And then when we got the, the new caravan, it came with a 25 meter hook up cable. So we've got two. So we've never got two. Uh, th things like uh, on the Bailey, with, again with it being a used caravan, the water pump, the whale water pump, uh, the plastics were starting to crack where it went onto the caravan so i bought a new water pump thinking if this fails and we're away i'm not gonna have to worry about getting another water pump i've got one, got and, that, and, one. and then of course what did we do we changed the caravan get a new one it comes with a brand new water pump we've got two <laughs> it's it's just it's just things that we've done thinking these are going to be absolutely spot on and We've doubled up. We've kind of doubled up. We've done the same with wing mirrors for the car. Yeah. We bought a we bought a cheap set from Halfords. And you didn't like them. Uh, and of course, going down the road, they were vibrating like hell. And I took no notice of everybody saying, "No, just don't even bother. Go and buy the Milenko ones, and you and you'll be sound." So what did we do? We ended up buying the, buying the Milenko ones. ones. Now got two sets of toy mirrors, and we did. Uh, the t same with the nose weight gauge we bought a cheap one and I put it under the caravan I thought there's no way the caravan's that weight absolutely no way when we first put this caravan on the nose weight it was weighing 130 kilos according to the nose weight gauge <laughs> so we went out and then bought a second nose weight gauge we got the Milenko one stick that under the nose weight it's weighing 80 kilos so you know one. so we haven't got a spare we've got we've, got one, we've right. got one we've got one that's totally bloody useless uh to, and there's there's other stuff isn't there that we bought uh with when this caravan arrived again because it was new we thought there's no way we're going to tow it down the motorway and get all the muck and crap that we got on the bailey uh so we ended up buying a tow jacket yeah. uh you know upgraded the wheel lock and the hitch lock and steady locks and and everything else so uh, so i guess what we're trying to say is it's it's not sort of something you, you if you buy into it it becomes something that kind of i won't say takes over your life but it's something that's constantly there you're going to the caravan shop or, go, or accessory shop and you all you want is some toilet fluid and you come out with a, ba a, bag, a bag full of bits <laughs> like we, we, I, when we got the caravan they threw in because we we did a bit of a deal and all sorts of things to do, they threw in the whale direct from t tap to water inlet uh for fully serviced pitches and the amount of people that have said you don't want to use that you don't use that it'll you'll end too up with too much rotor, water pressure you'll end up flooding your caravan don't use the direct whale uh thing and I, i'd all, always got a slight problem with it they only had a seven meter cable on it as well because the water inlet here is at the front of the caravan the caravan's sort of six meters long so as the pipe the uh, the tap is going to need to be within sort of a meter of the the back of the caravan Just or fa or fairly close so we always knew we were going to need a another another pipe to connect it up but with people saying you're going to flood your caravan that was the thought if we flood the caravan that's the floorway that's the caravan buggered we won't have one yeah so yeah. we went and spent this money so we've now got the, we've now got the float the aqua roll kit with the extension thing and all the rest of it and, but it's it's things like that that you you kind of 
build up over time and you listen to the experience of people on site and people that have been at it a lot longer than us because you know as we said in our very first video if you want to go back to it to last august 2020 we, we'd been out of caravanning for 20 years it's all and, changed. And, and caravans were very different then you know the thought of the thought of owning a caravan with shock absorbers and and trailer control on was it was just never heard of. A were fixed they? bed. A, be a double bed in the caravan. No. Didn't know. You always made a bed up at night, didn't you? Yeah. That was just the thing. So uh, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a journey this year, hasn't it? Yeah, we've enjoyed it though. Wait, we're still enjoying it. We're still yeah, learning. yeah, yeah. It's just we're a lot more skint <laughs> than, we, than we were a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> And and again, we didn't think back then, twenty years ago, about the caravan on the back of the car. You know, I had a uh, back in the eighties. Well, I, I had a Nissan, I had a Nissan Bluebird, uh, and I which we all had. And I bought a Luna Delta. Uh, I can't remember the one. I think it was the five eighty back then. You know, and you know the the car towed like a V. You could never level it out. I even tried putting them rubber spring assisters under the back to try and lift the back end up a bit. You know, I never even thought about weights and MTPLM and all this stuff. And uh, But roads were a lot quieter then and less people were caravanning. And you just sort of bunged it on the back and eventually people told you to, you know, sort of move stuff around. And, and the way I used to go in like this, <laughs> to see if it was level with my late husband. Cause we didn't wear anything if i went like that and like that i felt level the caravan was probably wasn't yeah but if you laid on the bed and you didn't get blood rushing into your head it was all right wasn't it I didn't have a bed unless I to well well, well, well that's what it. i mean you just put the bed up you laid yeah. on it and, and you've not got a tilt every everything was all right and and <coughs> i'm sure all the stuff was around back then with the nose weight gauge and all the all the rest of it and you obviously spirit levels were but you never bothered oh we you? used the spirit level that's all we used we still use one today <laughs> ah, but this, now we use one that was what 199 off amazon <laughs> you know that just these little triangular ones that that you put on the floor and it does the job and it's perfect isn't it yes right but getting back to it you know what we're saying it's a it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle choice and it doesn't matter to from us looking around we've been in some i looked at some caravans that are you know the early 2000s late 1990s and they're lovely caravans aren't they yeah everybody has the personal choice as to what they want and you know what's ever's in their budget and all the rest of it but it's the lifestyle it's it's the people you meet it's the people you get talking to when you're on site isn't it and then yeah. and and you you're very you learn to caravan the way you want to caravan because everybody doesn't caravan the same you know so if you've got a big family and you want a site that's got pools and entertainment and play areas and all the rest of it then you're going to be on a totally different site to the site that that we'll probably end up booking it's really like quiet and quiet <laughs> we we want somewhere Unless we make craig yeah we, we, we want somewhere in the we want somewhere pretty much in the middle of nowhere uh, to, where we can go walking and we can fly the drone and yeah. you know just gen generally take Chant. relax and take things easy unwind and, and as we say our holidays uh, to, are us putting ourselves back on the battery charger you know we work flat out at work uh, five days a week for 30 uh, for 30 weeks of the year while the kids are there and then we have a real and it's a busy time getting ready for the next lot of kids to come in when we go away on or the next lot of students, I shouldn't say kids, these are 18 year olds, uh, but for the next lot to to arrive and therefore we, when we go away, what we want to do is to literally flick the off switch and plug in the charger and say, that's us, we're now on recharge to, 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 to go back to work, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so that's the lifestyle that we've chosen and other people want that sort of adventure lifestyle where they're taking the caravans to places they want to run out and en enjoy and explore and all the rest of it well we want to do that but we want to do it at at, at, at the spanish spa speed you know the manana doesn't happen today <laughs> just do it do it tomorrow and if it doesn't happen tomorrow ah, well we'll we'll do it on another trip you know it's that's what the way it's wanna... going to be this summer yeah yeah 
and that's the way we are so that's it that's caravan catch up another one uh, kind of talking about the lifestyle of, of living in a caravan i hope you've stayed to the end and uh, if you like the video please click like and and obviously we'd love you to subscribe yes we would uh, but what's what's more importantly is we we'll hope we, you, you are getting out in your caravan camper vans motorhomes tents whatever you're doing and you're enjoying the lifestyle whichever way you've chosen to do it so till the next time you take care stay safe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ta -da.